welcome to the next video in the series of discrete mathematics again i repeat in the beginning itself that to get better idea of the things you should watch the videos in sequential order they have been uploaded with a number like l1 l2 l3 so keep watching the video and also subscribe the channel so that you don't miss any of the video because in mathematics what happens if you miss one concept uh, na, then you do not follow the things properly right but if you are here just for fun maje ke liye agar kar rahe ho to khair that is a different matter altogether right so let's continue so ladies and gentlemen in the previous video this was the last thing that i discussed right this was the last problem that i discussed in the previous video now in this video i am going to start with the next problem so what is the first problem here there exist uh, x there exist x x square is equal to 2 and i have to write the negation of this statement right because they are asking us to write the negation so if i write the negation of this using the laws of uh, you know equivalence i can write Uh, this for all x negation of x square is equal to 2 i hope by now you are clear that there exist becomes for all and then we take the negation so this is equivalent to for all x and what is the negation of the statement x square is equal to 2 so its negation is x square is not equal to 2 so as simple as that okay so now uh, the next question that we are going to talk about is this that we have to express every student in this class has studied calculus so to express this in english language uh, first of all i have to define the domain because specifying the domain in the beginning is very important so suppose i take the domain is the students of this class students of this class right so in this case uh, i am going to define the propositional function cx that x has studied x has studied calculus calculus so what will be the translation of this using uh, predicate and quantifier every student means for all x where x belongs to this class cx is true so for all x cx is the translation of this using predicate and quantifier but ladies and gentlemen one thing that i want to highlight here that if i change the domain then there will be a small change in the way we represent our expression so suppose i take the domain as the set of all people everyone on this planet earth all people right if i change the domain like this so in this case we have to define two you know uh, proposition function so i am defining sx that uh, x is a uh, you know uh, a student x is a, a student of this class x is a, a student of this class and then we are uh, going to define cx that x has studied studied calculus so in that case what will be the right translation now i will write that for every a student for every a student if a student is sorry for every one who is a student of this class for every uh, one who is a student of this class means if sx is true then this implies cx so for all a x sx implies cx so that is how you translate this okay so let us go and solve some more problem now if you look at this question that let px be the statement x spends more than 5 hours every weekday in class where the domain x consists of all student express each of this statement uh, each of this quantification into english language okay 
so how should i express the first statement right there exist x p x and this kind of problems you should be clear about when english language is given translating it using quantifiers when the statement are given in terms of quantifier you should be able to translate that into english language so there exist p x so what will be the answer for this that means uh, there is there is a, a student who spends more than 5 hours more than 5 hours every weekday every weekday in the class right i hope you are able to understand this I would better suggest that pause the video, try writing it yourself and then compare your answer whether you are able to write it correctly or not. For all x, p, x, it means, means this statement will be true if it is true for every value of x. So what will be the translation? Every student, every student or all students, both can be used, every student spends more than five hours every weekday in the class every weekday in the class right now if i have to write the third statement there exist x negation of px so what is negation of px if px is the statement x spends more than five hours every weekday in the class negation is that x does not spend more than five uh, uh, more than five hours every weekdays in the class so there exist x p x will be that there is a, a student there is a, a student who a student who uh, does not spend who does not spend uh, more than five hours every weekdays in the class in the class right i hope you are getting it and the final statement is the d statement so i'm writing d here because there is no space so what is for all x negation of px means negation of px is that x does not spend more than five hours every weekday in the class so for all x negation of px means that no student spends let me write no student no student spends more than five hours more than five hours every weekdays in the class right Please pause the video, watch it again in case if you have followed, fine. If you have not, rewatch. Now let us look at this problem quickly. I will be slightly quick here. So let Qx be the statement. What is the statement Qx? That x plus 1 is greater than 2x. And if the domain contains all integers, the set of integers which we represent by z, what are the truth values of this statement so the first statement is q0 so what uh, it will look like it will look like 0 plus 1 is greater than 2 into 0 which means uh, this will be like equivalent to saying that 0 plus 1 is 1 is greater than 0 right so this is a true statement so the truth value of this is true right uh, what is the next statement q minus 1 so q minus 1 will look like what it will look like minus 1 plus 1 is greater than 2 into minus 1 right so this implies that 0 is greater than minus 2 which is also correct so this q minus 1 is also true if i look at the third statement that is q1 so it is 1 plus 1 is greater than 2 into 1 means this implies uh, 1 plus 1 is uh, greater than 2 into 1 means 2 is greater than 2 which is not correct because 2 is equal to 2 so this is a false statement so what is the truth value of this this is false 
Now, what is the D statement? D statement is saying that there exists x q x. So, there exists x q x is true when some value of x is there for which q x is true. And we already have seen in the first example that q 0. For q 0, this statement is true. So, this statement is also true because for there exists x q x to be true, if we can find just one value of x for which q x is true, so this will become true. And in the first example, means in A example, we already have seen that for x is equal to 0, this is true. So, the truth value of this statement is also true. For all x q x, for all x q x is a false statement. Why? Because for all x q x to be true, q x should be true for every value of x. Q x should be true for every value of x in the set of integers. But in example C, we already have seen that for x is equal to 1, q x is false. q 1 is false. Means for x is equal to 1, it is false. So certainly it is not true for every value of x. So this is a false statement. If I talk about the next, that is f, there exists x negation of q x. Right. So, there exists x negation of q x means that when this will be true? This will be true if there exists some value of x, if there exists some value of x for which negation of q x is true. It means what? That there exists some value of x for which q x is false. Right. For which q x is false. And we already have seen that for x is equal to 1, q1 is false. I hope you agree to this. For x is equal to 1, q1 is false. Means for x is equal to 1, negation of q1 is true. Negation of q1 is true. So, we already have got a value of x for which negation of q1 is true. So, this statement will be true. I hope it is making sense to you. And for all x negation of qx, so for all x negation of qx is, is a false statement. Why it is a false statement? This is false. Why? Because it is saying that negation of qx is true for every value of x. But in the first example, we have seen that q0 is true. We have seen that q0 is true. Right? Q0 is true means negation of Q0. Negation of Q0 is what? Negation of Q0 is false. So, for every value of x, for every value of x, negation of Qx is true is not correct. I repeat the last one. I repeat because there may be some confusion. For this to be true, negation of Qx should be true for every value of x. But for x is equal to 0, in the first example, we have seen that q0 is true, right? So, if q0 is true, negation of q0 is false. So, it certainly is not true for all value of x. So, that is why this statement is a false statement, right? So, I hope you have a very much uh, clarity about what is the predicate, what is the quantifier, we have taken a lot of different problems on this and uh, I would suggest you that before, uh, uh, you know, uh, solving uh, other problems, you be clear about what we have discussed, the propositional equivalence laws and other aspects of it. Uh, we are going to take some more problems uh, on uh, predicates and quantifiers. Why we are putting a lot of emphasis on this? Because uh, the questions are asked based on this idea. So, please, uh, you know, watch all the videos in sequential order. Uh, like and subscribe. Also, share this with your friends so that they are also benefited by my effort, right? Thank you. And please watch the next videos and other videos that will follow. That's all from my side for this video. Have a nice day.